What's up guys, uh, this is Samuel Travel in History and I'm here at the mouth of uh, Old Town and at the entrance of Fort Jesus and uh, I want to go in here and give you a little history about this place uh, and before we go I want to tell you that this uh, is uh, one of a monumental uh, European monument that was constructed by the Portuguese in the late uh, 15th century, that is 1593 to 1596 as a reason of uh, protecting the older town or the old port of Mombasa whereby uh, the explorers or maybe the people who wanted to control the East African coast were putting their staffs. So we're gonna have to go to the Fort Jesus and I'll show you more about the history about the Fort Jesus and I hope you're gonna love it. So let's go. And before we go guys I'm privileged to be joined by two content creators and I want them to introduce themselves. So guys, uh, my video is loading, you can introduce yourself. So here it's a... Uh, Nairobi teacher. This is Nairobi teacher, you can uh, you can just say, Hello, give um, yourself a shout out. Yeah guys, I'm Nairobi teacher, I'm here in Mombasa and this is a uh, Jesus. I've been taken here today by this guy here. Oh sorry, sorry, bro. sorry, sorry, sorry. I've been taken here by this guy, Sam Traveller. And uh, I'm here with my brother Mapopo. Yeah, that is Mapopo. Mapopo. Yes. Mapopo guys, man. you see I'm drinking water from market. Imagine <laughs> guys, no problem. <laughs> and yes. he thanks you God sometimes. Guys, my name is Mapopo from USA. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I am Changanyari, no problem. <laughs> from guys, guys, bear with me. Mapopo is so funny. If you see me laughing in this video, yeah, please, just know. Just know it's because of him. Yeah. But I'll try as much as possible to make the temperature smooth sweet and slow so we're gonna have to go into for jesus and give you a little back story all the fact files about uh, the for jesus much yes this, this is the uh, it's a world uh, heritage site and uh, it's on the uh, it's uh, preserved and it's maintained by kenya national museum so you can see here unesco world heritage site uh, for Jesus National Museum Monument uh, inscribed on the World Heritage List of the World Cultural and uh, Natural uh, well over whatever. Uh, this is the entrance to Fort Jesus and uh, you can see there are some canons that are placed over here. These were canons that were used by the British, and the Arabs and the Portuguese during the conquest of East African coast. So guys, uh, Fort Jesus is, uh, was constructed in, by the Portuguese in the late eight, 1593 to 1596. And you can see here, this is the anchor or the anchorage of the Vasco da Gama, the explorer ship. This is the anchorage. You can see it still uh, exists here and for people to come and see. And guys, I'll show you there are some different uh, canons and different canon from the British one, the Portuguese one, and the Oman one. And uh, as you can see, the Fort Jesus is a very tall uh, kind of wall, wall uh, building that was constructed using the local material, that is lime and uh, color, color locks. And uh, it was constructed in form of a uh, human being, or maybe like they de trying to depict the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Uh, remember the Portuguese were Christians and they were trying to bring Christianhood in the East African coast. So they constructed this for Jesus as a form of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. I'll try and show you the, the picture of how this uh, for Jesus was constructed in form of. So guys, this is the entrance to the famous for Jesus and uh, we are lining up here to get our tickets so that we can go inside and explore what uh, this for Jesus comprises, what it holds and what are the historical attributes about uh, this for Jesus. But as you can see it's a very huge fort and uh, from what I have learned and what I know it uh, occupies a 3.26 hectares of land including the outside uh, perimeters. So guys let's go and acquire our tickets because uh, I have my Nairobi teacher and I also have my popo so that we can uh, go inside. So stay tuned. I've already acquired my ticket for Kenya citizens. It's two dollars or 200 Kenya shillings and uh, 
we are having my limu teacher and my popo here so guys uh, this is now is the st uh, the structure or the full picture of how for Jesus was constructed. It was constructed in form of a human being. So this is the plan. Yeah, this is the plan. It was constructed in a form of human being. It has uh, two leg, legs and the arm and the head on yeah, the other right. side. Being. So, so guys, you can see here. So let's go. So guys, uh, as I told you, this was a military base and I want to start uh, from the beginning from, uh, and I wanna show you how these, uh, uh, <coughs> for Jesus was built solely, I have a cold. So this is how it looks like. This is Felipe, it was a uh, king, Alberto, and Matthias, and Matthias. And uh, what it means that uh, the kings or the rulers would sing on these arches, the, the arm and the legs or the limbs, and then uh, they controlled everything from that place. This is the block. Compton House 01 Administration, that is it This is how it looks from inside and we are going to explore it from Every section and every section and I'm gonna have to explain to you how it looks like so continue enjoying the video So guys night now uh, I'm taking you to the Captain house and uh, you can see how it looks like so we are going to the captain's house so guys the before we go there uh, this building has some uh, openings this one was used for aloes to protect this place and this one is an open place whereby you can be able to view to view the ocean or maybe to view the enemy coming in but right now you can use it as a viewing spot for the ocean you see now this is the captain house one of the captain's house you see so this is where the captain used to put his own things from here so as you can see the roof collapsed from here because it was made of mag glue but this one was the captain's house upper and now this was the bedroom over here this was the bedroom. He had a very big bedroom and space here to put his things. But uh, the roof collapsed because it was made of man man mangrove. So, you see. And uh, these are openings. You can see here, guys. This is a cannon that uh, faces outside. So that you can be able to fire to the enemies when they are coming in. You see. And uh, so, guys, uh, okay, let me show you. Uh, there are 63 cannons found inside and outside the fort. Uh, they are different types and uh, uh, and origin. There are also many common balls which were discovered in and around the fort. Among them are 2,659 solid cannons, balls, 50 hollow cannons, and whatever. So guys, uh, you can see the architectural design. So, <laughs> that is my popo. My popo. So guys, uh, this is the watchtower. Let me show you. This is a watchtower. <sighs> so guys this is the watchtower you can see i've just uh, come off from the staircases and then now you're here this is how it looks like i'm here at the nice. watchtower and you can see how it looks like that is my popo coming in and this is where the soldiers or the watchmen they used to stand when they are trying to watch uh, if there is an enemy that is coming you can see there are some opening this is one opening this one is another opening and also there is this opening here so you can see how the outside looks like you see outside looks like from this opening that is the view that is was the way you could view, view the ocean and if there was a an enemy ship that was approaching so that is it that is the opening and you can see 
That is it. Mapopo. Yes. That is mapopo. Guys, mapopo, guys. Mapopo, imagine. Mapopo anashanga. Hii. Mimi am kushangala ni. Ili ili jumba lilitengenezwa vipi? So that is mapopo and this we are here at the watch tower. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is my popo. He's making fun of everything. Yeah, he is very excited to see a uh, white man speaking Swahili. So, guys, uh, right now we are going to the Portuguese wall paintings, and uh, I want to show you how they used to paint uh, their walls so for the easier navigation or maybe for uh, leisure purposes. So, so that is Nairobi teacher, and then uh, so guys, as you can see, that is an Oman uh, door. That is how the Omans used to construct their doors. As you can see, there is so much uh, details that are uh, on these inscribed on this door. Uh, you see, maybe some of them also uh, have their lightings. You see. That is how it is. That is a Norman door. So this door, most common in coastal area, they are designed to be fixed in external entrances, unlike Lam. Guys, we are heading to the Portuguese wall painting. So let's go here. So guys, let me show you. So before, this is the Portuguese wall painting, that is the church, the fish, the boats, uh, the, how they also be able to acquire their foods, that is through fishing and stuff. So, guys, as you can see here, the Portuguese wall paintings of the Fort Jesus, the picture were painted in carbon black and lead oxide, that means something like charcoal. Uh -huh. Levitating all in the bay, missing the centimeters, which is behind the room. So you can see, you can be able to read the details over here. And these ones are the wall paintings of the Portuguese. <laughs> this is my popo making fun of everything. Everyone is trying to learn the history of uh, East Africa or maybe the history of this for Jesus and don't just think that you're going to be bored when you come to visit this place you can see the amount of people who who are like here right now trying to uh, el enlighten themselves about the East African history and the history of the for Jesus so let's continue let's continue I, I, I I hope I showed you the canons that were used by by the Omans, the Portuguese, and the British during the conquest of East Africa. So this one was uh, an Oman. This one was an Oman a canon that was used by Omans to for the conquest of the East African. So so right now, so right now, guys, we are going to the Maslui Galilee. Or the hall, this is where the meetings were happening uh, during, the, during, during their conversation. Or whatever they wanted to do, this is where they used to do. Now, this is the Mazului. Uh, you cannot see because of the inversion of the camera. So, this is Mazului Hall and let's go in. So, someone wants to say hi. Yes, hi guys. Good people, how are you? We are here at Fort Jesus. Yes, those who don't know me, this is channel 77 with Brown Barnonda. Yes. <laughs> I'm friends with my popo and my Roni teacher and we are here with Sam. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Actually, I've been watching your videos <laughs> all the time. I was asking wow. myself, who is this? TV 47, yes, 77. Yeah, you subscribe. Yeah, I think so. 77. I think so. It was a very long time ago. Yeah, it's a very time ago. You are, you do like uh, interviews for celebrity yeah. seven, you so many. Yeah, I, I do watch. Oh my god! Yeah, so it's amazing to meet her. Oh, and you're doing a good job. I love the explanations you're giving. Uh -huh. You studied the whole book of Jesus. Ama, 
No, actually, this is the, I think my third time. No, but uh, the thing is, mm -hmm. the moment I just read about something, mm -hmm. that is it. Or I'm you, done. Oh, you read about yeah. the place before you came. Yeah, and also I, the thing is, I do on I do like maybe ten percent of that thing, <laughs> and then after that, uh -huh. if I go there, maybe just I'll be things will just flow. Wow, they're really flowing. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, you know, yeah. this is where uh, you know this. this is, I love that. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank way. you so much. Yes. So, guys, uh, guys, make sure you subscribe to Channel Seventy Seven. Yeah, I'm yes. going to leave down the description. Yes, to Fifty thousand subscribers. Uh, thank you so much. Yes. So this is the Mazlui Hall. This is where by the meetings were happening. You see. So this is the Mazlui. So guys, uh, the picture you can see on the wall, this is dueling uh, when the ma the Omans were surrendering this place to the British after the British uh, exceeded the power. So uh, the British were more powerful than the Omans. That's, this is the meeting chamber whereby they were surrendering to the British. Guys, you can see here, there is a gun, uh, and these were some of the ammunitions that were used during, during the conquest. So this one is the wooden, wooden, wooden gun that was used by the Omans. So uh, remember now, uh, the British came with very sophisticated weapons, and uh, the Omans or the Portuguese had lesser lethal weapons so that's why you can see here the british uh were, the omans surrendered this whole place to the british because they were overpowered because of the strength of the british so guys right now we are heading to the museum and guys uh, i showed you the difference uh difference different i mean different types of cannons this one now was the British cannon. You see, this one was the British cannon, weighing uh, three hundred meters, and it was more sophisticated. You see, so this was more complex than the Oman one and the Portuguese one. As you can see, how they have been aligned, like many of them. So, guys, we have to go to the museum right now and uh, show you what. The museum entails. So, guys, this is my popo. This is my popo. Very excited. Very excited to meet people from different race. Guys, before we go into the museum, I just want to show you some of the things that you can find at the entrance of the museum. This is like uh, a mortar and pasta. And this one is... I don't know something like some it's like something to grind something maybe like cardamom cinnamon or something something of the sort you can see here how it looks like this is a stone maybe it's for grinding some uh, grains something of the sort so guys we are in the museum this is the museum here so this is the museum so right here there is a wreck that happened and uh this is during the retraction of the things that were in that ship that was a uh, i can't remember was it the british or the okay let me see uh mombasa shipment wreck this was a ship that belonged to the british and it was left here the it was left in 1697 and this is 1977 during the retraction of the things that were in that ship by the Kenyan divers. So, so this is a Norman seat and uh, it was also taken by the British. And we have a Nairobi teacher here. Nairobi teacher, can you say something? Something. Yes, say something about what you have seen in this museum. Uh -huh. 
Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So we move, we continue, so that you can be able to see other things that belongs to the uh, people of the East African coast. So, guys, these are like uh, thous or canoes that were used, are used by East African coast people. There is a drum here for music. Drum. There are some uh, like I don't want to work porcelain arts. These ones, there are so many stuffs over here. There is a pot. There is like. Uh, these are the Chinese drawings. Uh huh. There is plates, broken plates, cups, small cups. So, guys, right here, I am at Baluchi. Uh, Galilee and Baluch means they are the faces of the people that you'll be able to find in Mombasa and uh, right here you'll be able to see a Baluch guy wearing the that kind of cloth with the sword sheath head wrap and stuff like that and also you'll be able to find uh, some of the attires these people where when they they do their own stuff so this is the structure for jesus these are structures that also resembles the for jesus in other parts of the country of the part of the world so you can see so this is the baruchi craft not they use the makuti i mean the coconut branches they are called makutis to uh, make they are carrier bags or maybe holding bags, something of the sort. Let me show you uh, someone, one of the things that had been made using the makuti. So the Baruchi community used makuti or uh, coconut palms to make uh, head okay, hats, carrier bags, holding bags, and also something of the sort, kiondo. We call it kiondo or maybe a playing mat. This one is a playing mat, so playing mat. So you can see a kalia bag, something of the sort. And also let me show you a baluchi. Look at this. This is a baluchi Afghan. Pakistani Baluchi girl and this one is the Iranian Baluchi man and then is Afghanistan Baluchi man. I didn't know there were different Baruchi type of Baluchis. Mm, it's amazing. Don't you? Now, these ones are the coconut palms or coconut blanches. You see? These ones are used to make what I've shown you like the praying mat, the carrier bags and the hats. As you have seen, that was the Baruchi Galilee, and I have already explained to you what the Baruchi Galilee entails. And now we are heading outside. We outside, and this is how the outside looks like. So, guys, uh, these ones, the one things that you can see here, this is a foundation, and this one was a, a Portuguese church, but it was demolished by the Omans when they took over. Uh, this place now the only thing that uh, has remained is this foundation of the church that was over here so and uh, on the other side guys let me show you this one was the water system or this water yeah the water system you can see here so this one was a cistern the Portuguese built the cistern in 1603 because the people of the old town were not friendly to them and not very cooperative, allowing the Portuguese to collect water from their wells. 
So you remember the Portuguese were trying to bring Christianity into East African coast and now the people of Old Town were uh, Arabs or the Omans, most of them practiced Islam. So they couldn't allow the intermingling of the Christians and the Arabs or the Omans. So you can see how it looks like from the outside. And uh, so they decided so the Portuguese also decided to build oh, no no I mean the Omans decided to uh, drill their own well. So this one is a an Omani well. Omani sank a well soon after they had captured for Jesus in 1698 AD. Uh -huh. The depth of the well is 76 feet, 23 meters and water is salty and only fit for washing. So that means it was not suitable for them to drink. So they only used it to wash and uh, maybe water some plants or something of the sort. So this is the well and this is how it looks like. It has already been grills have been put over here. So let's move let's continue exploring the food jesus so guys let me show you something so this is a skeleton of uh this is a replica of a human skeleton that was found in uh, c2 the same position and excavated from 15th Five and sixth January 1990. So this one is a skeleton of a British soldier. So, guys, as you can see, that is an Oman house. That's up there, that is a Norman structure, a Norman house. You can see the balcony, how it is, how the balcony is structured. And uh, also the uh, doors, how they used to make their doors. See how the doors are. So, the refurbished of Oman House and the Mazurui Hall at the Fort Jesus World Heritage Site in Mombasa was officially opened by Dr. Hassan Wario Arero, okay. Uh, Secretary Minister of Sport, Culture and Arts on the 21st February 2017, founded by the Sultan of Oman. So that is a Norman house and it was renovated in 2017. So guys, this is a, a skeleton of a whale, a baby whale actually. So guys, let me show you, let me show you. This is a humpback whale. This is a 48 foot long juvenile male humpback whale. This is a whale was washed uh, the shore of the beach of Pungwana Bay, Kipini, Tanaliva County around June 1992. And this is how the whale looks like when it is alive, you know. And these are the remains of that whale those are the bones so guys guys that is the end of this video i hope you have enjoyed it and uh, i want to ask my friend to say his last remarks little bit teacher come and say something to my fans this is nairobi teacher the teacher himself. The teacher himself. Uh -huh. How are you guys? Uh, uh, if you're coming from Nairobi, teacher, kindly subscribe to Samuel Travel, uh, and, History. Travel and History Channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a very amazing guy. He's the one who's been showing us around Mombasa. Yeah, and uh, one thing I like about Samuel, he's a super humble, like really humble guy. Yeah, I really, really thank you for that. And uh, you should continue doing that. Thank you so much. Don't don't stop when you grow. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah. This, is, this, this is one of my, I think, uh, let's call it a character or a virtue. 
right. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So guys, how did you find uh, the trip in Mombasa? Amazing. It like, was amazing. Super, super amazing. Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, here I have Mapopo, Mapopo, Ma Mapopo himself. himself. I am superstar. Uh -huh, Mapopo. Guys, so you are to come and me, I am putting protector to the match. <laughs> this guys, is Mapopo, a very guys, funny guy. Yes. My name is Mapopo, guys. Welcome to... Simil traveling. Simil, Simil travel. Yeah. <laughs> Sim somewhere. Somewhere. Yes. Oh, somewhere travel. And history. And history. Yeah. So oh, I no, live... wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. Don't forget. You know, sometimes memory card is format format <laughs> end time. So and me, I make sure end time, I I I I I, I boost boost my computer. Uh -huh, yeah. Computer to my for my head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> guys, my name is Mapopo, guys. Subscribe for my brother, guys. You know, brother is is helping me today to allow me to try the era, guys. We enjoy. Wait. <laughs> Don't you see, brother? You know, brother is he come to to stop or to to speak. <laughs> to stop you what you're saying. To, uh, imagine, guys. So and me, I I, I am come, to I am to kill. I, I am hungry, guys. I, have I said that? I am hungry. Don't let me to stop, guys. <laughs> so, guys. So, so. So guys, uh, have I said anything? <laughs> so, Mapopo, have I said anything? Uh, so, no. so guys, mm. I'm going to leave Mapopo's uh, link mm. to his channel. Yeah, 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 also, yeah. Nairobi teacher. Nairobi, yeah, Nairobi teacher. teacher. You can subscribe also to my YouTube channel, guys. And, yeah. Uh, I really, really appreciate your mm. support. Mm. Uh, and I love you guys so, 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 much. so much. So that is the end of the video. And I hope you are, you appreciate our work and what you are trying to do and what you are trying to explain and show you guys. So remember to subscribe and like and, and hit that notification bell. bell yeah so that you can be notified anytime i upload a new video so uh, for my spanish speakers adios cuídate see you later wow okay thank you, thank you.